a quick change soft jaw that uses a dovetail to actually clamp the jaw onto the base jaw on the vise. Um, and also customers can now make their own versions of that too. So, you know, we, we like to make things nice and easy for our customers to, to make their own, uh, their own parts to enhance the, the work holding system that we provide. So today I'm here on the Lang Technic stand at EMO 2025 and I've run into a very familiar face. Now this video is going to be in two parts. I'm going to interview Danny over the first three sections and then after we're going to meet up with Tobias who's going to take us through the other. Now Danny, Lang. It's becoming a household name but for those who haven't heard of them or heard of you, who are you guys? So firstly, thank you for coming on the stand today, Tom. Um, so we provide a zero point clamping solutions, work holding and machine tool automation um, for the CNC milling machine industry. Now we're stood in front of a array of your products. So talk us through some of them. So this plinth really shows our sort of legacy products. So um, things that people might be familiar with, which are our zero point plates and also our macro grip solutions. It also shows the various different jaw options that you can have on every single macro grip vice that we make. So whether you're doing first operation machining or whether you want to do use soft jaws for second operation, jaws to clamp round stuff, uh, you know, really with our vice system, you can clamp any size or shape that you really need to. And I just want to expand on one point there, your soft jaws. Now you can provide soft jaws, but you also help the customer out in another way as well. We do, yeah. I mean, so we have two different soft jaw options, which are our Profilo and our Avanti. The Profilo are these ones that you see in front of you. Um, and we provide all of the drawings for those so that customers can make their own soft jaws. So if you want them wider or taller, it's no problem. We provide the drawings. Obviously, you can download the models from our website. And now, actually, with the Avanti, you can also get hold of the drawings. So they're a, a quick change soft jaw that uses a dovetail to actually clamp the jaw onto the base jaw on the vise. Um, and also, customers can now make their own versions of that too. So, you know, we, we like to make things nice and easy for our customers to, to make their own, uh, their own parts to enhance the, the work holding system that we provide. I love how you are so customer focused. And just before we move on to the new compact system you've got, I just want to bring up one little story which you told me a few weeks ago, and I'm not sure everyone at home will know this, but if you stamp a block before it goes in your vise, a little bit of magic happens once you then clamp that vise, and it lifts up. How does that work? Well, it Basically, the, the whole thing that the stamping does is it, it preps the billet for machining and it's designed to reduce the machining vibration. So the, it's like a four-sided pyramid that goes into the stamped form and it's the top face of that pyramid that actually picks up on the material first. That lifts the weight of the billet off of the parallels and reduces the, the machining vibration. So uh, a billet that's three times the width of the jaw, you can still get a really nice surface finish all the way around that part. Now, I'm sorry, to me as a machinist who was always taught to put it in and knock it down and then you trying to go, no, we're just going to lift it back up. <laughs> it's just incredible. The thing is, we're, we're using technology to clamp the part. We're not just using friction and brute force. See, again, always thinking of the next step. Now, we're going to move on to your new robot system, the Compact, which is looking at the size of them vices just blows my mind how you can clamp so much in so little but talk me through it what is the what will this do for a customer so um you know we're constantly driving the automation side of the business forward um and this this is just a, a new product on the market so it's a, a robotrex compact it takes up one meter by two meters so only two meters square of floor space um, and essentially it, it uses the, the vices as the automation palette. So the, the vices obviously it doesn't matter what size you put in there um, and the, the robot will actually load those vices into the machine tool. And that obviously must be beneficial for a customer because they're not having to change this for every program. They can keep this the same and do whatever work they want because it's locating on the vice, not on the workpiece. That's exactly right. So a subcontractor really is our typical customer because they might be doing batches of 5, 10, 15, 20. And with this, you could load up three different jobs of batches of five and run that overnight and they're all finished in the morning. And that's all dealt with from our software side of things. So um, yeah, uh, subcontractors really is the kind of mar target market that we're going for with this. 
And, he, and is that a reason? Because obviously subcontractors have got, they don't normally get the batch work people associate with automation. So if they've got batches of five, batches of 10, but over multiple jobs, then they don't need that batch work of a thousand. They can still run this through the night and come back and be more productive. Yeah, I think a lot of people, particularly in the UK, they, they have it in their mind's eye that they need to be doing batches of thousands to justify the cost of an automation system. But what they don't take into account is that even if you have small batches, as long as the machine is running overnight, it doesn't matter whether it's doing a thousand of one part or whether it's doing, uh, you know, 10 different jobs but only five of those each of those different jobs as long as that spindle's running it's obviously cutting metal and making you money so um you know this automation system allows you to do that very simply and easily without having to reprogram the robot or anything like that we, we've dealt with all of that already see again i keep coming back to it but customer focus making it as easy as you can for the customer to be more productive be more cost effective now, obviously, we've spoke about your legacy products. We've gone through your robot. Now, tombstones are not just the, the standard tombstones people normally see, the pyramids as well. So talk me through what we're seeing here. So here, really, we're looking at sort of an entry into automation. So if you've got a machine where you just want to present more parts to the spindle in that single load, uh, that's what all of these things are achieving. So, you know, whether you have um, three, three face tombstones, four face tombstones, obviously pyramids are good for five axis machines because you're able to access all five faces of the billet in a single load. Um, so that, that's what really what this plinth is showing that, you know, whether you actually want to go for a, a Robotrex system or if you're not quite there yet and you just want to get a few more parts onto your, uh, onto your machine table presented to the spindle, um, then these are the products for you. Also, obviously, the Halbex, which I know we've done a few videos on before, um, but that, that uses your machine uh, tool changer to actually load the pallets onto the machine table. Um, so we, we do have a lot of customers using that actually in the UK now um, and very successfully. So, um, you know, that's a really, really good product that we've uh, introduced a couple of years ago. Would you say the Halbex system is a really good introduction to automation? Because before people get the robots in, they can have a simple piece of automation that runs through the spindle. There's no need to program additional parts and you can still run them batch work through the night, which may save some time and it may save a customer if a rush job comes in. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I think that uh, you also don't need to use up any floor space. You know, in a lot of customers, you go in there and there just simply isn't space for a, an automation system to go in front of the machine. So the Halbex is utilizing the technology that you already have in your factory, but it's just getting more hours out of the spindle. So, um, you know, all of our products are just designed to make your life easy and just be user friendly. Um, and really the automation products and, and the tombstones are no different to that. Well, Danny. Thank you again for your insight. It is always brilliant. Now, we're going to move on and we're going to see Tobias now from Lang, Germany, who's going to talk us through what else they have on this booth. Now, Tobias, it's great to see you again. Um, we've just heard from Danny about your legacy products, your tombstones and your Robotrex Compact, but mm -hmm. there's so much more to your portfolio. So talk me through what you've got on this stand. On this stand, we have, first of all, our Ultra system. It's the same clamping principle with the, um, the stamping indentations in the workpiece, just for bigger workpieces by standard up to 810 millimeters, by slightly modification of the spindle. With a custom-made spindle, it can go up to almost two meters. So it's a bit for the bigger tasks. It's nice to see that, obviously we've seen some of your products for smaller workpieces, but it's great to see now your the clamping force and pressures of what you guys can accomplish over large pieces of material as well. And it's great you guys can be a one-stop shop for everything. Now, we've looked at the, the Ultra, which is one of your bigger vices. I've got to mention the compact vice. It that's, is- That's the contrast, yeah. It it's the contrast for particular- Incredible. Small vices. We call it a micro vice. Now to me, what, what surprised me most about this is the amount of force you can clamp in something so small. Now, how have you taken all of your Lang technology and made, made these for them smaller pieces of work? Yeah, it's thanks to the stamping technology with the form closure, clamping it's, philosophy. And it's all down to your 
zero point play? Every, all these can be mixed and matched and moved around? Of course, it's still the 52 pitch pattern, the zero point climbing system. We're just using two climbing studs here. That means you can climb two vices in a regular quick point 52 zero point blade. Now, I didn't know that. I actually thought that was smaller. So, that, so mm -hmm. again, if somebody has one of your quick point plates, they can, it doesn't matter what size vice, they all fit. Exactly. You can use it in zero point blade or a special feature which many people don't know. In the vise, there are also the indentations of the teeth, so you can clamp this vise directly in the teeth contour of another vise. Now, I did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> that's the secret hints only the good customers get from us. Oh. <laughs> See, every day is a learning curve for me. I always learn something new. Now, this I am really, really excited to because I actually got to find out about this last year at AMB when you very first released it. Talk me through the rail system. What have your customers thought since you released it? Yeah, they really liked it, particularly for three access machine tools, large three access machine tools, or for pallet automation systems. So it's a very cost efficient solution to have a positioning and zero point clamping system on pallets or big three access machine tools. And the, you can have vices next to each other, you can have gaps in between. So again, is this to help people clamp that larger workpiece? Exactly, for being flexible, since you can move the zero point rises or the vices in increments of four millimeters you can realize very flexible clamping setups for small work pieces, for large work pieces. So. And again, that must, that must help your customers because once the rail system is clamped, there's no need to clock things up. You just slide them on and away you go. Exactly. That's the reason why we, uh, why we developed it. Correct. Oh, honestly, you're always so customer focused. Now, <laughs> we've got one more table to go and then another automation mm -hmm. system. So first off, talk me through what we're seeing on here because again, there is some incredible looking parts on here. Yeah, there are some climbing solutions for round parts. You see the collet chucks, you see a six jaw chuck for round parts, you see our zero point clamping systems, uh, yeah, for horizontal clamping on three axis machine tools, a uh, quick pan blade which contains both our standard pitches of 52 and 96 millimeters, rises. So again, a lot of people may think of Langhoff as um, work holding for, for clamping square billets. But that's not right. You clamp everything. We have solutions for round parts and odd-shaped parts as well, of course. See, and I like how you've got the collets because I've used that to clamp parts a lot in the past and it works really well. And can I just say that part over there is beautiful. Yeah, it's a typical aerospace part, a structural part made of aluminium. Here it's clamped in two vices next to each other. Yeah. See, what makes me laugh about that is I'm looking at it thinking that's incredible. You see this on a day-to-day -day basis because your work holding is always used for applications that look so good. So again, you're not even surprised by that. And that's brilliant <laughs> to me because I look at that and think, wow, and you're like, yeah, it's just another day in the office for us at Lang. Almost daily business, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the last, um, the last place of our tour. And this is, again, a new... This is brand new from you guys, the Aero Grip. Now, I've never seen this in person, so mm -hmm. I'm going to lean on you for this. Talk me through the Aero. What is it? Our philosophy of automation is basically having a pallet automation system. That means the operator needs to clamp the workpiece in the vise. But there are some applications where customers prefer to handle the workpiece, not the complete pallet. And in this case, we have a solution where a robot can fully automatically stamp the workpiece and then place it in a pneumatic vise. Now, I'm just gonna move around this side of you because I just wanna come around this side. So, so again, you're doing the whole operation by robot. Nobody needs to be there. Exactly, you know. The operator just has to prepare the raw parts, putting it on a pallet or somewhere. The robot will grip it from there, stamp it automatically, and place it for the machining purpose into a pneumatic vise. So what's the biggest benefit of you having this system compared to the customer stood there stamping the parts? The big benefit is for big batches. If you have a low mix, high volume, then it might be more economically to stamp the workpiece and clamp it in the vise rather than clamp it manually in, a, in the pallet automation. Well, Tobias, from me and everybody at MTD City, thank you again for your time. It is such a joy for me to be able to interview you guys because we always have good fun. I always learn something. I've learned things from Danny I didn't know. The, uh, the jaws with the pins in, 
even though you've been doing that since when? 1997, to be honest. 1997. <laughs> I looked at that like it was brand new. Yeah. Um, so thank you, and I hope to see you again at the next thank event. You. See you in Stuttgart. Maybe with much more news from our company then. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.